In this video, I will show you how to create a YouTube intro video for free. I will specifically show you how to create a YouTube intro in Canva. And this is what we will get by the end of this tutorial. Awesome, right? So if you like what you have seen and you want to create your own YouTube intro, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Sonic here from Template Warriors. On this channel, we help you create and sell digital products online and also help small businesses grow using the right digital tools through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So to create this beautiful and cool YouTube intro, I'm going to go ahead and sign into my Canva account. Having signed into my Canva account, I go over to create a design. Then I search for video. I have video here, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. I go ahead and click on it, which will take me straight to my canvas. So in here is my canvas where I can do my design. And down here below is the timeline where I can edit my video. The first thing I do before I continue is give my video a title right here. So I call it my youtube intro before i continue it should be noted that there's no single way of creating a youtube intro so i'll make this design as simple as possible the first thing i'll do is give my intro a background so you need to make sure that the canvas is selected like this then you go over to background color in here you can choose whatever color you want to give to your intro background you can also choose a color from here like this then you can use the color wheel to choose whichever color you want if you know the color code of the color you want to use you can go ahead and enter it in here in my case i have a color which i've already copied to my clipboard so i'll just go ahead and paste it in here awesome the next thing i'll do is add an image of myself i can easily upload it straight onto the canvas but i want to place it inside an element so i'll go over to elements then I go to frames or I can easily search for frames, whichever way you want. And from here, you can choose whichever frame you want. I think this is cool for me. I'll just click on it to have it inserted. I can place it wherever I want by clicking and dragging. I open it up like this. Next, I go ahead and upload my photo. So I go to uploads. So from here, you can go ahead and click on upload media. I have my photo right here. I can easily click and drag it in here to upload. It is uploaded. I just click on it once to insert it onto my canvas. So I click on it and drag it towards the frame. And you see that the picture has now fit well into the frame. Then I release it. Awesome. If you want to reposition the image, you can double click in there. Then you can go ahead and position it whichever way you want. You can even increase the size or decrease it whichever way you want i can click aside to see how it looks the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and add some text so i go over to text then i choose add a heading then i go ahead and enter in my text i can reposition my text then i go ahead and reduce the size like this maybe to this much if you want to change the font, you can go over to font right here and drop down the arrow. In here, you have a bunch of fonts you can go ahead and use. In my case, I want to use Exa Semi Bold, which I've already used. Perfect. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add in another text. So if I don't want to go back to click on text and add in a new one, I can easily duplicate this. So I'll make sure it is selected. Then I can press Ctrl plus D key on the keyboard to duplicate it. Then I can go ahead and reposition it. Make sure it is in line with the first one. Then I just double click inside to activate my session point. Then I go ahead and edit it. I will reduce next. I reduce the size of the text by highlighting all. Then I can just go in here and choose the size I want. Oops, it's too small. I make it maybe 48. I actually want to make it in two lines. So I click somewhere here. 
then i hit enter next i'll change the alignment by selecting all the text then i go over to alignment let's click on it once and it will align it to the left perfect i exit out of it then i click back on it and reposition it if you are finding value so far please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on youtube and also benefit more people all right let's continue next i'm going to go ahead and change the font to a different one i think i like this one so i choose it and now my text looks small i'll just go ahead and increase the size like this maybe to be in line with the heading awesome i like it this way the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and highlight both text and i take it down like this so that you'll be in line with the image I exit out of there. Next, I'm going to go ahead and apply a background to my text right here. That is the title. So I have it selected. Then I go to effects and I'm going to choose background. I don't like the color. So I change the color from here. I just click on it and I can choose whichever color I want. So what I do is I go to add colors. I have the hex code to the color I want to use. I just go ahead and paste it in here. I don't also want this roundness, so I'm going to take it off. So I exit out of the colors and I have roundness right here. So what I do is I just reduce it to the end. Perfect. Meanwhile, my text is not standing out anymore. So I'm going to change the color to white. It's still selected. So I go to text color right here. Then I go ahead and choose white. Now this is looking clean. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add some animated elements. To do that, I go over to elements then I can search for maybe best. So from here, you can just search for some cool animation you want to use. It should be noted that some of them are static. So you should be looking for the animated ones. And I think I like this one. So what I do is I just click on it once and it will appear on my canvas. I can reposition it to whichever location I want. Maybe here. I like the position. I just exit out of it to see how it looks. Awesome. What I can also do is go ahead and add some animation to the background. So I just make sure the background is selected. Then I go over to animate. You see that I have page animation. So whatever animation I'll be choosing here to affect the entire background and everything else in it. So if I point on simple, sleek, fun, there are more. If you want to see more, party, you just have to use a simple one. I can also go to basic, that is rise, pan, fade. And I think fan looks cool. Or maybe rice. I think I'll go with rice. It should be noted that you can also apply animation to your text if you want to do that. So to do that, you simply have to click on the text. And you see that you are now have text animations activated. So if I go to rice, pan, or maybe typewriter. Ascend. So you can just go ahead and choose any of these animations for your text animation. That is if you really want to do it, but I don't want to do text animation. You can also apply animation to your photo by selecting it. Then you click on animate and you can go ahead and choose any of these animations you want. Maybe breathe, photo zoom, pop. I like pop. Okay. Or maybe photo zoom. I think I'll go with photo zoom. Now that is all about my design. I don't want to add more resources or elements. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and look at the timing of my intro. How long your intro will be will depend upon what you want, but I will not advise you to keep it above five seconds. So as you can see on the frame, the number of seconds is 7.3. Now, if I exit out of the design, you can also see it right here. You can increase or decrease the size of your video by going to the timeline over on the end part of the clip. 
then you see these two headed arrows so you can increase it like this or even decrease it like this the easiest way is to go up here just click on it then you go ahead and enter in the number of seconds you want for this tutorial i'll make it five seconds then i'll go ahead and hit enter awesome so let's play it to see how it will come up perfect i exit out of here maybe adding a little bit of sound will be bad so i can go over to audio in here you can go ahead and choose whichever sound you want provided is free to use but i have my own sound i want to use so i can just drag it from my folder and drop it right here i have my sound here so i'll just drag it and drop it in here i minimize this now before i insert it i'll make sure my playhead is at the beginning like this then i just go ahead and click on it to have it inserted now let's go ahead and play it to see how it will come up this is cool isn't it i exit out of here and now the design of my youtube intro is done i can go ahead and click on share and i click on download and the file that will be mp4 i click on download and it is downloading right here download complete and i'll have it right here perfect so with this you can go ahead and add it to your video editor when you are editing your videos let's go ahead and play it to see how it will come up and this is cool I exit out of here so that's it on how to create a youtube intro in canva all right that's it guys i hope you found value in today's video if you did kindly hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also enable the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you'll be the first to know keep watching and i'll see you in the next one